<laughs> Good morning. So just a um, quick update. I went to go see um, the team of doctors that I have. One of them includes a psychiatrist, which is um, really good because this is something that um, can be hard to get through. And I kind of feel bad because um, I was focusing on, you know, getting upset about my quality of life. And um, that's what he's there for. <laughs> and he's been really good. I'm not going to lie. He's been... Um, probably a lifesaver um because this isn't easy but I saw him and um we're gonna work on some things but um then I have an appointment um uh, Monday with the the doctor um when I say the doctor normally I just see a nurse practitioner or a um physician assistant or you know something of that not the doctor I haven't seen a doctor in a year over a year so um um, I'm going to ask him specific questions about this medicine. This medicine I'm supposed to take because it supposedly prevents, you know, there's all different kinds of leukemia and the kind of leukemia I have can come back. And this specifically present, um, makes that not happen. I couldn't think of the word and I'm seeing I can't breathe and all of those lovely things. Um, so I have to, I want to know the stats. I want to know the stats. Like if I stop taking it, what are the chances of me getting the disease back? Um, taking it, what are the chances of me getting the disease back? I'm supposed to take it for five years. What happens after five years? Do I get the disease back anyway? Um, do I have to take it for the rest of my life? Because that would be uh, no happening. And um, just kind of stats like that. Is there anything else? Um, nobody's listening to me about the way I feel. And it bugs me because... Um, all my symptoms and the things I've explained to the PAs and the nurse, um, nurse practitioners is that I have these symptoms and they're direct symptoms related to Spreisel. No one's told me that. No one said, you know, those are symptoms of Spreisel. Every time I've asked about those, what Spreisel symptoms are, I've been ignored. So um, that makes me think conspiracy. That makes me think someone's hiding something from me. And that's where I get angry. Um, and he's going to know I'm angry because I'm tired of being, don't hide this shit from me. What is this shit that I'm on and what's it doing to my body? You know, and, and I got to decide if it's worth it, you know. Um, I don't want to get it again. But I don't like living the way I'm living. And um, I don't know if I could change that, you know. Um, You can't just change the things that are important to you, you know. You can't just go, oh, this is no longer important and it doesn't matter because it just doesn't happen. So I'll decide. Um, so I'll find out more on Monday. I'll get some, hopefully, some good answers. And I know what the answer is going to be. And that's why I'm still upset. So that's not going to be good. <laughs> um, I just know it. And, um... But I am going to get across to these people that you have held information from me, withheld information from me when I specifically asked. And I think that's wrong. So um, there's something that this shit's doing to my body. And um, I never thought that it would go into the second year of the third year, actually, of feeling like crap. So I'm not happy about it.